of uh, some points one. All right, so far, I feel like predicts Leon at 65% with 8 bit men at 36. We'll see how it goes, man. Game one. Oh, already getting the gyro set up. Wait, is it playing the Minecraft song on this stage right now? Yes. Oh my <laughs> god, it's like the same exact song. Perfect transition, <laughs> man. Perfect wow. transition. <laughs> I thought I was trimming for a moment. Like, wait, hold up. Is it still in the arena right now? What's going on? Well, I guess the game knows this song is really good. Oh, and Avon Man's really good because he is shutting down this Bowser, dude. So many juggles, but that's a big back air. Okay. How can Leon control the ledge? Oh my god, what a Bowser bomb from the ledge. That was nuts. That move also spikes too, so there's a high chance Avon Man could have just gotten sent to the blast zone from that. But yeah. Good there's the up. Man, yeah. Good on him in avoiding that. That was such a scary what a to be in, too, but... Because the bounce from the gyro would have been enough for Ape Man to actually connect that neutral air, but nonetheless, here it is going to be Leon with the command grab. Ape Man, Man off stage with excellent DI, man. He's fighting back, and what a great oh. neutral air. We talked about how many lasting frames are so good, especially when you want to cross up a shield. Yeah, that was like a super good stall Ooh. off stage of that, too, but we got the gyro set up again. Oh, yeah, Leon delays his mash to make it uh, trickier for Ape Man to follow from the down throw. Really mm -hmm. nice stuff. And that's what he needed to take that stock, because otherwise he might have just gotten up smashed or something. But there's the LB out of shield, free 16 into the command grab. Okay. 37% on the board here. Ape Man's gonna play his cards right. Excellent down to what a what a big neutral winner oh. here for Rob. Oh, he waited for the roll? Really good stuff from Leon. <gasps> nice neutral there. Last second. Yeah, if you're Aiden has been so smart about how he chooses to play at the ledge, because Leon's is really trying to make him scared in that spot, but uh, he's still fighting back here. Oh yeah, man. If I were Aiden, man, I've had time to watch this matchup before, or at least I've seen Ooh. Leon play, he knows what he can do here. Excellent DI yet again here. Leon still holding on to those two stocks at 154, but the down smash last hit. Not the strong one to take oh, care of, but the gyro. Type. Great, great coverage from Aiden, man. Catching that low recovery. Oh, there's the swipe, though. Not letting him get away with that nair from ledge again. Okay. Yep. Easy 16% out of shield with the up B. Oh, he gets the trip. Oh, a lot of pressure with this gyro right now, but Leon's just going to keep up being. He <laughs> doesn't care. Yeah. Nope. Oh, oh it doesn't. Yeah, Only a little bit. Percent, just a little bit. Yeah, you're right. Okay, waits for the up B. Ooh, let's try no invincibility here. Oh, but he gets off with the get of attack. That was good for nice. Nice. Timey, mean, gets past the arm rotor. That was a really good recovery. Ape Man looking for a gyro setup here. Anti air with the laser, not enough yet. I like oh. this empty hop pressure. Oh, the shield! <laughs> so scary. Oh, oh the nice. gyro again. Oh, the gyro again. <laughs> oh my god. That was so good. What a finisher. What a finisher. That was so smart. Using the grab release from uh, the pummel and then get into the down tilt up smash. So yeah, nice. We saw that up against Adamisk. We definitely saw that up against Adamisk. And we can see why Ape Man was so comfortable with the gyro, too. But, dude, Leon wasn't that far behind. Like, he was able to bring it from what was originally a deficit to, like, his pretty much any man's game. If Ape Man did not get that setup, dude, it could have been a different outcome. All right, well, definitely looking at the prediction with the submissions close. 52% Leon taking it versus 8-Bit Man's 48% with a point one going to 8-Bit Man. I don't know, guys. Things, uh, things could change. Things could change. Yeah, I don't know. It, they're both so good. Like, it can go either way. Great parry punish with the down smash, though. Yeah. The th see, the thing here for 8-Bit Man, too, that we noticed so far. Oh, God, that was scary. That was, scary. Oh. That was actually scary. He still got the MV, though. <laughs> See, the thing here for Ape Man, every time he comes back on the stage, he goes for neutral air, but neutral air has such a long lasting hitbox and decent range, it's actually able to cross up Bowser, even if he's going to try to go for something like Whirling Fortress. And it's good for Ape Man when he comes back on stage. Yeah, Leon's just going to start reading that though. He just has to like jump 
and uh, hit him out of the air if he tries to keep doing neutral air from ledge. But that was a great down air. Yeah, caught Ape Man slipping for the up air too. Up air? Not just yet here, but he's definitely got Leon oh. a little bit off the stage and he comes back center. Forward air, gyro set up. What's the edge guard here for Ape Man? Yeah, he's just gonna jump over everything. <laughs> Bowser's ledge jump actually went really high. That was pretty surprising. Oh, but there's the gyro setup again. <laughs> Man, if I was Leon, I wouldn't even want the gyro on the stage. Like, anytime it's on the stage, I'll just take it and, and throw it somewhere else. See, and that's yep. the thing, too, is like in the middle, in the heat of battle, too, you gotta think about it. How hard is it to interact with gyro, specifically every time oh. Ape Man toasts? Oh, Jabri's out. <gasps> oh, that was optimal. That oh, was my optimal. God. <laughs> That was so smart, dude. I don't think Forest Smash would have killed like that. That was Man. optimal as hell. Leon, you're crazy. That's why he's in top eight with Bowser right now. But Ape Man's trying to fight back too. Forward air into the Kremen grab though. Good amount of percent for Leon. Okay. Nice trade. He's gonna take the gyro in his hand. Oh, goes for the Forest Smash read. Okay. Nice. Up top. Nice. Still gets the up air. Yeah. Looking for the landing on Leon. This is good patience here, and he almost got the up smash here, but the last hit Ooh. of up smash will be the excellent read strides. You called it. Leon might start reading those approaches from the air, and at that second when it mattered the most, he definitely did. Yeah. I mean, you versus good players, you can't always go for the same option all the time, especially versus Bowser. That was that was so good, such a good call out with the up smash. Yeah, we talked about it. How it has like that really strong, like turn it up again. <laughs> Plus twelve. This. I'm so the chat saying that your mic is the lowest strides. I have you really high up on my stream, so I don't know what it is. Could've, could've I don't know. Uh, do I do I have to do I turn my audio here? Is my that actually audio, a my, see my audio is fine. Like I'm pretty loud, so I have mine like a little bit in the middle. Cause I'm pretty loud about here. It can't just be me, man. Cause I'm pretty loud. I, I don't even know how to change my audio on Discord. Oh, it's me. Can't. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me, let me. Oh. Just me. All right. Oh, so you're the quiet one. <laughs> Dude, I I hate audio on streaming. That's like the most complicated thing. For me, <laughs> like, it, it, can be, it, it can be, it can be, it can be. So frustrating. All right, hopefully, Wait. hopefully I'm better. Hopefully I'm better. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. All right, so game three, Pokemon Stadium. I actually really like this stage for Bowser, especially in Leon's case. He's like so good at using that command grab, uh, and he'll kill even earlier if he gets it off a platform. Yeah. But uh, not a bad stage for Rob either. Enough space to get the gyro in play and uh. He can utilize the platforms pretty well too for his own throws. Okay. Nice catch on the gyro again. Ooh, but Ava Man's not letting him use it right now. Ooh. Okay. Nice recovery, but the roll, man. He's just waiting for it. Nice reaction yeah. there, Ava Man. You have to give it to respect too, because like when you think about the pressure that Ava Man is able to apply with gyro, especially where it kind of was a little bit earlier, I'm like. It, it makes sense. It yeah, he, the gyro is like so good at the ledge, um, especially to force you to roll past it. <laughs> oh, nice what snipe, Ape man. Yeah. Yeah, he, he got him out of there real quick with the four there. Oh, the second hit of the up smash does hit, but he doesn't get the strong one that he's looking for. Here's a jab lock. Oh yeah, this is a big, big stock right now for Ape man. Most definitely looking for that slow recovery. Oh, oh untackable. Untackable. You gotta, you gotta go for it. <laughs> Okay. Good 22% again, but it's gonna get thrown here. Up air. Ooh. That's not enough yet. Great DI from from Leon, but also I was gonna oh, say that was just heavy, one. but the second one will do it. Yeah, jab, uh, I like how somebody in the chat put right here, for, especially for Aqua Boogie. Yeah, jab blocks are definitely crucial. If your opponent misses a tech, those are some big punishes, but also great deciding factors that you can use to come back. Like I said, when you fight against specifically Bowser, sometimes coming back on the stage or holding shield and punishing that preemptive willing fortress is the best move, rather than trying to get a reversal on your opponent. Oh, man. Okay, good catch for Leon to avoid getting 
put in between the gyro again. That could have been really bad for him. Oh, yeah. Oh, sneaks in the back here. Catches the trade, but yeah, he's going to still need to put in some work if he wants to bring this back. Good on Ape man. He knows he's in disadvantage. He doesn't want to overextend. He rather clear space with Gyro and then try to again punish the preemptive Whirling Fortress, get the grab, down throw, wait for the opportunity. Nice. Ooh, nice catch on the upper. Yeah, now Leon is mashing out of the grab really quickly. Before he was just kind of delaying it to see what Ape man would do. Oh, the catch on that. Where are you going, Leon? Where are you going? Man, maybe a normal sized character might not get gotten caught by that, but not Bowser, dude. He just shot him right out of the sky with that up smash. Yeah, and he came with a. See, this is the thing that's really, really difficult, especially, especially fighting Ape Man, man. Is he'll set up gyro, but also he's really well aware of when you want to jump, when you want to roll. Because if you look at where Ape Man puts the gyro, it all dictates of how he's going to actually adapt to your jumping habits and your get up habits overall. That's what makes Ape Man so strong. Yeah. If it's so behind him, he's waiting for that roll. If it's in front of him, he's waiting for that jump. And sometimes he'll mix it up. He won't even wait for the jump, he'll wait for the roll instead. Yeah. He's just so. Uh... So aware of how that gyro just forces uh, situations at the ledge from his opponent. It's very, yeah. very good. Definitely a true marquee of an actual Smash veteran, man. This guy's been playing since Brawl. Maybe even Melee. I don't know. Nah, Rob wasn't in Melee. No, he could really play Melee, man. I played Melee. Well, I didn't play Melee competitive. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> anyway, we're back on Battlefield again. Uh... This stage worked out really well for Leon before, so I'm not too surprised. I really like how he's able to um, chain his aerials into the command grab. That's really good percent for him. Yeah. Oh, but he keeps, getting, he keeps getting trapped on the platform, and uh, Ape Man is just sharking him over and over. See, and that's the thing, too. When you're getting juggled, your best option is to go off to the stage and then go to the ledge. Big problem is that Ape, <laughs> Leon knows Ape, if Ape Man is at the ledge uh, edge guarding you, it's not a fun time, man, especially if you're Bowser. That recovery plan is very, very linear. Especially with the gyro in play as well. But, ooh, the snipe on that jump. Ape Man already prepared with the backer, catching him so quickly. And this is a really good first stock already. Yeah. Good for him to send the gyro down there, kind of covering the recovery. Forward air, excellent play, looking for some pressure on the down tilt. He's always looking for that down tilt into the gyro. Anytime he sees an opening where he can get in between his opponent and the gyro, he's just going for it. And even if you he hits shield strides, you said it so many times, it's safe on shield and it's good shield oh. damage, but what a read from Leon. Up smash to finish the get up from the, from the ledge. Yeah, really good charge on that, just making sure he can punch that neutral get up. Leon using everything he can to just stay in this game. Doesn't want Ape Man to build his lead too much, but man, look at how many times he can keep juggling him. <laughs> Doesn't even let him grab the ledge. Ape it, man, is going off right now. Such a good edge guard. Yeah. What a good landing trap to just toss the gyro, then go for the anti air laser. Double down tilt. He even rolled for the down tilt, dude. <laughs> down tilt's amazing move. Oh, great trade for Ape Man. Still racking up this percent. Uh oh, oh you already know that's big damage. Yeah, <laughs> so much percent. Oh my goodness. Leon is on the ropes right here. Oh, Ooh, the gyro into the forward air. Almost gets the gyro to connect off stage. Leon swinging for the fence. He just wants something to get this stock. And Avi man. Oh, he got caught on the platform. Oh, no. Yeah, what a patience oh, from Ape man. That was just a really bad time to miss him. But yeah, Ape Man was in so much lag from the, the the side B that Leon was like, okay, if I get down there, I can get this hit in, maybe get a 